Do you love to grill in the summertime, or the wintertime, or whenever? Because I sure do. Today we're going to be looking at this Yoshi Copper Grill and Bake Mat. I'm kind of excited to try this out. I'm Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, consumer gadgets, and other household goods. If you like that idea, please hit the subscribe button below and ring that bell so you're notified every time I release a video. Now, Let's get to today's review. Like I said, it was the Yoshi Copper Grill and Bake Mat. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. What I have in here looks like two of these. They're just standard, I don't know, they look like placemats, copper color. Um, I also have a set of directions. I'm gonna read those, and then we're gonna actually test this out. So the directions tell us to thoroughly wash both sides of this. Um, we're not to exceed 500 degrees, whether inside in the oven or outside in the grill. Um, it does warn us not to let grease build up on this. So what I'm going to do is I've got some chicken and some peppers to grill today. So I've already washed this on both sides. So come on outside with me to the grill and let's put this to the test. I know that I get frustrated when my chicken or whatever sticks to the grill and I have to scrape it off later. So I'm kind of excited to see if this works. But you know what? I need to have grill lines. That's how I know it's been grilled. Let's get outside. This grill's about 500 degrees, which is the maximum that the Yoshi Grillmate says you should use. Also, the grate should be cleaned off. You should place the Grillmate on, and then you're supposed to be able to just place your food on there, and it's gonna protect against dripping down. So let's just see. I can hear the sizzle. Alright, so I've got four pieces of chicken on here. We're going to check back in a little bit to see what this looks like when we flip it. My hopes are that it's not going to be stuck to the grill mat as most of the time the chicken is stuck to the grill. So let's come back in a few minutes and see what happens. Alright, let's check to see what this looks like. Oh, it looks like we're grilling. Some of the marinade is coming off, but that's okay. But Let's see. Oh, look, it moved pretty easily. Let's see if it's got some grill marks. Oh, it's getting some grill marks. Let's flip them over. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this stuff. Well, I'll move it this way. And I'm going to add some peppers in there. See how these vegetables will cook on this grill mat, too. So now let's come back in about five or so minutes and see what we got. The vegetables are just about done, so I'm going to take them off. And then I'm going to end up butterflying this chicken. Uh, mind you, you're not supposed to cut on top of the grill mat or the grill mate. You're, so I'm going to cut them off and then bring it back on top. But So I'm going to butterfly them and then we're going to continue this cook. But so far it's looking pretty good. Here is the finished cook. All the chicken has grill marks. It's cooked through. I'm pretty excited about this. Now, let's let this Yoshi mat cool off, and then we're going to wash it in the dishwasher. Today I had a fun time grilling out with my Yoshi copper. Um, I thought it was kind of neat. I, I was able to put this on the grill and cook my chicken and peppers right on top of it. I thought that was cool. Um, I did like how my chicken still had grill lines and the, um, the peppers were actually that grilled flavor and grilled taste that you like. I will say that the directions here say you're supposed to um, let it cool down after you're done cooking. You're supposed to wipe it off, use soap and water if you want, or put it in the dishwasher on the top rack. I actually did both. I scrubbed it with soap and water and I put it in the dishwasher on the top rack. And as you can tell from it, I still have grill lines on here. Now, that's not that big of a deal. It just takes away from the copper look. Um, I, rec I, I said this earlier, but they say do not go over 500 degrees, whether it's in an oven or on the grill. I today only did the grill, but you can also put this in the oven. Like if you're putting it in a pan, maybe you wanted to make rolls or maybe you wanted to make meat in the oven. This thing will there help you um, so it will not stick. So that's kind of a cool thing. I was thinking, will I use this at home? 
Meh, maybe. Um, if I'm cooking chicken like I did today, or steak, or pork, or whatever, and I want to put peppers on there, yeah, I'll probably use this. But the biggest thing I think I would use this for, if I'm going to the park, and you know, you've seen those grills at the park, they are pretty, pretty nasty. Um, and so I probably would take this with me, that, that way I wouldn't have to clean it, and I know that it's going to be kind of a clean um, environment for my cooking. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and that's my review of the Yoshi Copper. If you like this video, please click that like button. Also, leave a message for me in the comment section below. Have you used this or a product similar? Let me know. As always, thanks for stopping by, and have a great day. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot. I'm lighting this video with, yep, you saw it right, it's my Go Lamp. I recently did a review of this Go Lamp. Um, it's another As Seen on TV product. So what I'd like you to do is I'm going to link it right, oh, it's actually going to be linked over here. I'm going to link it right over here, and I'll see you over at that video. So come on over and check that one out.